Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Live here, and welcome back to another episode of Project Playco. We're moving on to a new theme here today with the Pirate Harbor, something we haven't touched yet. Kicking things off, it's going to be a bit of a shorter episode, as in terms of the um, pirate area, we only have eight blueprints. It's a bit of a bonus area that Batch included here, and uh, there's eight total. And half of them are submitted and in, in. So we're going to be doing half of them. And that means there's four to place in. So depending on how quickly these go, um, I think I've been doing about five, six, or seven per episode so far. Um, some of them have been a bit longer than others. So we're going to be kicking things off with H04. Um, Project Planko build. This was created by uh, Chib Chib Chibi, Chibi Rodan. Chibi Rodan, and uh, it is a toilet. 300 pieces to build this, and let's go ahead and, um, oops, I need I need that alignment cube. <laughs> let's go ahead and pull this blueprint out, place it in, and then have a look at it. I think this is the one. So they didn't say anything on their workshop. 300 pieces, we gotta have toilets in the park for sure. So we got a little bit of everything in terms of shops and facilities. There we go, got the cube in, and our first pirate build of the park, uh, in, well, in terms of the plots, uh, is now officially in. Like the bit of integration that you put here with the fence work, uh, filling in your volume cube on the side there with the palms as well, creating a nice little uh, decorative exit for when you come out of this tunnel. A good idea here from Batch as well. I just got to point this out now that I'm realizing it. I always talk about this in park spotlights and stuff and having directional forces, points of interest, things. No matter where you are in the park, you should look around and see something interesting that's calling you out. And as you're passing through this tunnel, there's going to be a whirly rig skin right there. So I like the, uh, the focal point there as you're coming through the tunnel, but some great decorations on the left-hand side for this build by Chibi, Chibi Rodan, uh, the poop deck. <laughs> It is a washroom. They named it the poop deck. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, pirate builds. Man, pirate is a uh, underrated um, theme, in my opinion. Probably the most underused in the entire package of Planet Coaster. Even more so than, I would say, like, Western or Spooky. For sure. I think it's the most underused to in, in total. Um, I recently did a park spotlight from, uh, what was it? The, uh, I think it was called Hardy's Hope and it was a re-feature in 4K. And I was talking about it then that, that I would love to see more pirate stuff arise to the surface. And um, in fact, haven't really seen anything since. So for me, Hardy's Hope is still like the, uh, the kingpin of pirate. And what we have here for our park, it's, it's quite a bustling pirate area. What Jeffrey Windprints has done with this ride and this area is uh, quite justifiably a good pirate area within a theme park. As good as you could be for like a, what do you call it? Like a tertiary theme. When we think of fantasy, we generally think of castles and thatch roofs and, you know, that sort of thing. And to add on, you know, pirate, tiki, and all that as well uh, is, is quite fun. So what we have here, even though we have only eight plots, I think we have a pretty solid pirate area considering it's the most underused theme. We didn't underuse it, in my opinion, overall. But looking at uh, this build here today, I think this is a really good start. I like the, um, the little what do you call it? Pirate windows, the ship windows for this build. The woodwork all looks good. It has a little bit of depth with the overhang there and the and the little rope bits holding it together. Pretty solid build overall. We'll check them all out at nighttime after I get them all in because I'm assuming we're building this whole row. Uh, I don't really know, but I'm assuming we're building this whole row or, or darn near close to it. So the next one looks like we're jumping over to H06. Oh, the numbers are going backwards. Interesting. So, whoa, H06 is over here. It is, um, what is this? It's a Pirate Harbor expert level build that includes a pip shop water, but we have this interesting foundation with the elevation up high over here and down below over here. So very challenging build in that sense. I'm curious to know how much of the backside is going to be built on this one because we will have a ride skin here. So I expect there to be something, but what, how many pieces do you have? 
400 for such a big build like this crazy all right who was assigned or took out this build it would be bku87 and if i'm getting my names right bku was the creator of this here princess amelie coaster if i remember correctly so a beautiful uh, coaster that they built and they took out an expert plot here. What are we working with here, BKU? Let's go ahead and delete your cube and find it here. H06 by BKU. There is your cube there. Wow, I just got a glimpse of it there for a second and it is already looking impressive. So let's get this all aligned. And I think that's it. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Wow let's uh let's change the time of day to i don't know 2 p.m yeah let's get some sunlight in here wow the pirate pip shot holy good googly moogly that is amazing wow captain lockjaw shipyard i guess they have like little boats in here is what i would imagine we're pretending like they are and then you can launch the boats onto the water here get your kayaks go for a little dip here what i really like about this build are these ship windows that is super extraordinary you somehow took boats wedged them into the top then put these little windows in them and um made them into little ship windows that is so cool and even these they kind of look like cannon windows but they're like <laughs> i don't know everything here represents ship and caribbean we got these caribbean brick wall pieces you uh worked with that foundation which was kind of tricky we're kind of looking at a separation of three builds i would say you got like this kind of build or maybe even four yeah so you got the harbor master little brick room over here another part the pip shop water here and it's using completely different styles and then this is the, the heavy pirate and caribbean castle feel and then this is a little bit more industrious very cool and they all come together to make like a row of builds i am really impressed by this build Wow, BKU, you really knocked it out of the park. Even the rooftops look really nice. The way they come together, you got those little side windows here, all different shapes and sizes, different angles. The backside's completely bare. Um, we have a little bit of a glitch here, but again, I don't know if you're going to see that once this ride is in. I hope, uh, I think the only thing I would probably suggest doing, and we could probably do that here today, just in case, like this is a, a me going just in case kind of moment. We could probably add some of these these windows to the back side right and this should only increase the part count by i don't know four or five depending on how many we get in just because it's like one big plain wall and i'm sure we're gonna add a little bit of foliage and and polish in between right and um that should uh just create for a little bit of noise back here so it's not this big flat wall looks like it's been forgotten about if in the case that we see through something there so i don't think that's uh too bad to add in there the the focal point being the front it looks phenomenal this is definitely a solid solid build and um i'm able to go ooh and awe over it so much because like i said pirate is something that we don't see every day in planet coaster and therefore like i don't feel like i've made a lot of comments on pirate builds throughout the years um just because i haven't been able to look at that many assess that many and to me this is one of the best ones i've seen it's so shanty there's so many little things going on we even have a few animatronics here very cool it's just chilling up there love to see it and a penguin he's not pink though <laughs> All right, really good stuff here. Let's see what we're moving on to next. Pirate Harbor Building, um, created for the Channel 5 Gaming Project Planko H07. Oh, uh, I didn't read what they said about this build here by BKU. Our land lovers, this plot 06 from the new pirate area of Project Planko. It has 418 pieces and it's made to fit the uh, pirate pip shop. So they went 18 over and then I added some windows on the back. <laughs> All right, the next one is Lucky Dude, and we're going over to uh, H07. So we're actually working our way left. When I went into this episode, I thought we were going to be working our way down, but it seems like we're going this way instead, which is uh, fine. So uh, I think in the next one, we'll be finishing that row off. Do we actually have the ride skin? I don't think we do, which is H07. Where's 8? Eight? 8 is over here. Yeah, we're getting these two in today. So this whole kind of like fronter front area row is done and then the next time we revisit pirate we're going to do this whole strip plus the the whirly rig ride so that's pretty exciting 
So let's go ahead and get this one in here. It's 250 piece part count. There's no shop or anything from the looks of it. It's just a decorative style pirate build. Let's uh, let's go. We are aligned. We are in. Wow. Oh my goodness gracious. Another grandioso build. Wow. What a cool style on this. Almost taking like a page out of Alpine in terms of like architecture, but then weaving in that pirate fantasy. Wow. That is really sharp. I love the way that looks. We got a little bit of blue on the top there and I was commenting on a lot of these builds came out with these blue rooftops. So I think it actually kind of flows pretty well right into that of the fantasy area. Really, really cool. We got something poking through the side though here. I think that's just the window. Nothing you can really do about that to hide it. Yeah, I love this big, steep, curved roof. What a unique build style. It's very captivating to look at. It has a great presence. Big anchor out front, a cozy little doorway cozy little uh, step down walkway even this side area back here we got a little burglar hanging out back there a little pirate looks good from the back side a little bit a uh, little bit decorative there um Again, probably going to have the rides can cover most of that. A lot of boats clamored together here to make this interesting rooftop out of boats. Very different style to the neighbor that we just looked at over here from BKU. This is a lot more vertical and it has a lot more of the Caribbean pieces mixed in with the wood. Where this is a little bit more horizontal and focusing heavily on that woodwork. And you even see that with all the supporting trusses and stuff like that. I love it. This looks really, really good. Wow. You guys are impressing. So far, all three of the builds that we've placed in here today are great. Really, really solid. Doing what I said at the top of the video, the most underrated pieces, uh, being the pirate, turning out to be some of the best looking builds that, uh, that I've placed so far in phase two. These look phenomenal. Makes me a little bit sad to say, or sad to see, <laughs> <laughs> that we're not going to have, you know, dozens upon dozens more pirate. But uh, this is doing it justice. Sometimes less is more, and um, it's quality over quantity for pirate. Loving it. Great, great, great job on this one, lucky dude. And we got this one to move over to, and this was created by V Raven. If I'm not mistaken, we just recently did it. Do I sell builder signs? V2 Raven. So V2 Raven built this guy over here and this guy over here. So you almost got to build two plots in the exact same area. Very cool. And uh, you had a hundred pieces to work with. Very tricky. Let's see what you got going on for us. Ooh, the big bold red. Love to see it. Boom. Let's get her in. Um, am I going to delete anything by deleting this? No. All right. The Drunken Scaler Raven's Rum Lockjaw Loggers that's amazing wow again going with different style pieces than the other people we've seen a different build style still having the caribbean rooftop bits on there flows well with the entrance over here um just so happens that you use the caribbean rooftops over here as well but it kind of now ties it all together i guess so not mad at it at all a little bit of a boxy build but not bad at all you've it considered it while it is boxy it's tucked over in the corner so that you know we're not really seeing the rooftop the flat top of it we're not really seeing that side as much so it, it, it has depth it has detail where it needs to be um if i were to make any recommendations to this builder in terms of like uh reducing that boxiness one thing you can definitely do there's is this the trim work so you can see on this here we have this trim work right then we have this wooden trim all of these bits of trim here on this build make it pop when you have this flush edge here where it just like kind of cuts off into the nowhere and descends into nothingness it's like a, a infinity pool if you will uh has that really hard cut edge where it's like something's missing there that's what trim is always best at and if you want for the front side i do think you have a lot of depth here with like the little wooden bits coming out you got the trim going across this way so it's not too bad there i would probably you know recommend in the future to you know girthen up <laughs> uh, whoops your your base your foundation so we have if we look at some of the other builds here this big strong foundation something like that to make it pop out a little bit right it has that um depth 
that we're looking for. Another interesting way to make depth on a boxy build, like we see on this one here, an overhang, right? And then that, that'll break things up as well. So you don't have that like disappearingness of the building on this because of that overhang, because of that trim, and because of this running trim here. So it uh, creates a lot of noise on the sides. So a few pointers there, but this one being kind of tucked off in the corner near a bunch of stuff that is noisy and the front itself actually being pretty noisy, I think it works here. I don't think it's just to send it back or anything just to add some wooden trim to the tops and bottoms considering you only had 100 pieces um i think it you know you did a good job at pulling that off there so really good build here as well from a beginner builder in v2 raven and uh love love and love what i see here from the pirate you guys wow so let me go ahead and get some builder signs in i always forget to do this while i'm going we're gonna grab the one from batch here bring that over to our first build of the day chibi ro dan Chibi Rodan. I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but that's kind of how I see it. That's how I read it. And next up is BKU. Probably put that up here. BKU, all capitals, 87. Done. Probably put this somewhere around here. And I do have to look at these at nighttime still. Almost forgot. And lucky dude. Lucky dude. Hey, dude. And last but not least, our beginner builder. V2 Raven. Very nice. Okay, let's do the nighttime lighting here. Da, 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 da. Ooh, I actually really like that. Good job. There's like a nice little that that the way that the yellow hits the red, creating that orange gradient. Um, plus the kind of the texture, the normal map within the wood texture there hits that light really, really nicely. Um, I'm a fan. That's looking really nice. Ooh, also really good over here. I like the lit up windows and stuff. Not too much lighting. Very, very good. Also looking amazing over here. We got a little bit of pink on this one. I don't know what the random pink is about. I'm not crazy about it because there's no light source for it. Just don't know really where that's coming from, but that's okay. And uh, this one's looking pretty good too. We got a little bit of a spooky teal or something coming from these beach balls, I think. Very cool. The poop, the poop deck, the poop shack. <laughs> Amazing. No, they all look really well lit. This is going to look like a really cool, cozy harbor at nighttime when we get all the other four builds in. That's pretty exciting. I'm probably not going to revisit uh, Pirate for a very long time. I just wanted to get, like, pretty much I'm sampling everything. One of everything, we're going down the list. And so far, yeah, of the, the Phase 2, we've hit up Western, Sci-Fi, Spooky, um, Fantasy, Adventure. Wow, we've really done a lot so far. And now Pirate. So the only areas that we haven't done yet are our Tiki area, as well as our Christmas. I believe that's right. Mm-hmm. So I'll probably go to Tiki next, <clears throat> then Christmas, because it's closer to Christmas. Now, I would love to be able to do like a whole Christmas week when we're slamming all these in, but uh, it's hard to kind of stagger that. It's kind of hard to predict what the release schedule is going to look like. But in theory, I could potentially do three a week at the time of this recording because Batch has set a uh, deadline of December 12th at the time of me recording this. I think it's like December 1st. Uh, it's not too far from now. And of, of the ones that are due, 68% of the ones that are submitted. So we're only missing 32% and Batch has made them do like for like a week and a half from now. Um, so if I just get hustling, by the time I get up to the 68%, the other 32% will come. Um, but to record, edit, thumbnails, publish, all of that for three a week, it is quite a hustle. But the, the more I do, if I do, uh, if I stick to that cadence, we should be able to finish this by January. So I want to try my best to do that as long as I have enough in the bank. As of right, me recording this video here today, <clears throat> I have three in the bank that you guys would have seen by now, right? They would have been released. So if I could get ahead, then I'll stick to three a week. And if we're doing that, I don't feel like we need to stretch out the episodes or like if there's something I want to talk about or that I forgot to mention in today's video, it'll come up in the next one or the next one <laughs> and 
<laughs> all of the the next one and the next one will probably be videos for this week. So for doing three a week, there's really no need to uh, to talk on about certain things, add in extra flair, or give you guys a behind the scenes look of what's going on because we're doing it all live and it's coming out rapid fire at this point. So. You know, yeah, this will be a little bit of a shorter one here today. Four cute, cozy builds for the pirate area. All really amazing builds, too. Really like the way those shaped out. And we might as well just leave it off there. We got the builder signs in. And I'll leave you guys with this. I think for the next video, we're going to go check out the first blueprints to go into the Tiki area. Looking at the sheet here, um, most of them, majority of them are finished. There's uh, all but four of 11. So yeah, that's probably about like 60% are finished, just over half majority. And uh, I think that'll be a good one to go to. And then we'll hop over to Christmas and then um, and then I'll just start cycling through some of the larger areas. We'll most likely be revisiting sci-fi after that. So that is the plan going forward. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for this short one here with the pirate one for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye now.